After winning a Grammy in 2019, Tyler the Creator reached the peak of his musical career critically. While for some this might be an end goal or even a stopping point, this was certainly not the case for Tyler. In fact, he was bittersweet about winning Rap Album of the Year for his previous album, Igor, because it was not rap. Whenever we, and I mean guys that look like me, do anything that's genre bending or that's anything, they always put it in a rap or urban category, which is, and I don't like that urban word, it's just a politically correct way to say the N-word to me. So when I hear that, I'm just like, why can't we just be in pop? Why can't it just, you know what I mean? So I, I felt like half of me feels like the, the rap nomination was a backhanded compliment. Two years later, Tyler came back with a real rap album. Featuring DJ Drama, infamous for his mixtape series, Gangsta Grill Z, this album not only plays tribute to the rap that Tyler grew up with. I wanted to call me to get lost with the intention of making a rap album. I wanted to make the rap mixtape stuff that I grew up on where I'm just going in over beat. But also, it's a victory lap after such a successful career. However, there's more than the beautiful sights of Geneva, Capri, and the wonderful world this album paints. Similarly to Igor, there is a surprising amount of heartbreak on this album too. Igor is known for being a more open look into Tyler's love life, sexuality, and emotions. With jealousy on New Magic Wand, sorrow on Gone Gone Thank You, begging on Earthquake, and the feeling of being led on with Puppet. This album is one of my favorites I've ever heard, and it's something I find myself listening to quite often, and I even find myself feeling some of these emotions myself. With all these throughout Igor, it paints a clear picture of Tyler's love life. However, I think that Calm If You Get Lost might be a more clear picture into Tyler's love life. The most prominent example of this is on the song Wilshire. In this 8 minute track, Tyler tells all about a relationship from his point of view. This is likely my favorite song on the entire album, only competing with Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance, because I feel like we see Tyler as most vulnerable as if he's reading his own diary out. For anyone who hasn't taken the time to listen to this song a lot, or hasn't looked over the lyrics, I'll break down the story that Tyler retells. Tyler meets a girl, and the two nearly instantly hit it off. They talk all night, and at the end, Tyler tells her how he feels. She reciprocates, however, here's where things take a turn for the worse. She currently has a boyfriend, and another problem is he's one of Tyler's friends. Now obviously, Tyler doesn't want to step on any toes or do anything scummy, so he just settles to be friends with this girl. His morals won't allow him to pursue things farther. However, according to Tyler, but you got something that make all them good intentions get lost. After this realization, he decides he can't just be friends. The song goes on to entail their FaceTime conversations, deleting texts to not look like she's going behind her boyfriend's back, and Tyler not crossing the line. The two are enjoying each other's company and spending time with her boyfriend as well. Eventually, the boyfriend catches on and wants them to stop hanging out together so often. While her boyfriend is out of town, Tyler mentions running off with her. The two spend a week together playing chess and tennis, driving, shopping, moving life to the fullest, just as if the boyfriend doesn't exist. Tyler says she's the only thing he's missing in his life and clearly wanted the two to be together. But eventually, the fun had to come to an end. When Tyler picks her up one night, he instantly notices something is off. They have to call things off because of her boyfriend, and according to Tyler, Tyler is absolutely going through it after this, and it took a toll on him to the point where his bodyguard had to make sure he would keep himself safe while he was emotionally jabbed up. He claims, and then it feels like he almost might be mad. But he goes on to say he couldn't end things on bad terms, so he tries to mend the situation. During the final minute of the song, Tyler talks about the relationship as a whole, with lyrics such as All the morals and power you have just vanish when a certain energy is near it. And unfortunately, that's how the song ends. We're left with the bare truth, living with the fact that every story doesn't have a happy ending. So to recap, Tyler falls in love with a girl but she's already in a relationship, and eventually, he's heartbroken when they're forced to separate. This story is not contained solely in Wilshire. It's reflected on multiple other tracks on the album. For example, on the song Corso, the rap verse hints to the story with the lyrics. Tried to 
take somebody, bitch, cause I'm a bad person. I don't regret shit because I worked it. In the end, she picked him. Tyler understands what he did, and he knows he's in the wrong. However, he still went for it. Later on in the song, he, the lyrics say he... That seems like the whole reason why he might be traveling is to run away from his heartbreak. Furthermore, this story is real. Tyler said so at Lollapalooza. True story. Bear with me. On the track Massa, the lyrics ties into the very end of Wilshire when Tyler says. Other than Wilshire, the best look we have into this story is on Sweet I Thought You Wanted to Dance, with Fauna Hughes' part singing. Which directly connects to the lyrics. This happens again on a later verse with. Another reference of this story happens on Tyler's verse with the lyrics. Referencing how the relationship got called off. Finally, this is no fictional story for us listeners. This is a look into Tyler's love life and his emotional state. He said that he recorded Wilshire in only two takes, meaning a lot of this was a raw and accurate description of his thoughts. Part of this is why Tyler wanted to leave the story in the shadows, in the privacy and away from others. By telling us the story, it turns into just another chapter of his book. If everything I've said so far doesn't convince you that this story is all connected, before the album came out, Tyler posted this video onto social media. And I think it visually represents the story. In this video, it shows Tyler making out with a girl who has a boyfriend, who's not fully informed on the situation. This seems to parallel Wilshire with the interest in a taken girl, and additionally, it may imply that while Tyler says he never crossed the line, there may have been more to them, such as a physical relationship. I love this album, and I think it's Tyler's trophy after a phenomenal discography. I think ultimately it is a happy album, but while Tyler travels the world, not only does he bring his infamous suitcase, with him he also carries his emotional luggage. I absolutely love Wilshire and the way it ties into the rest of the album and how everything is just laid out for the listener to hear and how everything feels so incredibly personal. In conclusion, I hope you've realized that Come If You Get Lost, similarly to Igor, is another look into Tyler's love life and emotional state. And while it may be hidden with fancy cars and boats, there's more than meets the eye. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is my first time trying anything like this. so. Um, obviously it's not perfect. I was really struggling with a lot of those copyrighted clips, really trying to not use too much of the lyrics, but um, it was a journey overall and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I plan on making more videos like this in the future, so if you're interested, um, please hit the subscribe or leave a like. And yes, I timed this video to end perfectly with the song. Peace.